I think so. I think so. So, so last year, remember everything was 100% virtual. It seemed like hybrid was going to be this nirvana. Oh, we could serve everybody. We can serve both remote and in person, and and maybe even make things more impactful. And now, you know, as the world's beginning to open up, we got to figure out what that is. And I got to tell you, the only industry that, as, as you said, that, that's doing this at scale is K to 12 education. And, and I've got a couple of middle schoolers. Um, and I can tell you, at least as it's been done so far, hybrid stinks. Um, there's, there's three segments. There's, you know, again, this is so far. I'm going to say so far. Yeah. I don't want everyone to go, ah, it's the end of the world. Three segments you got to deal with here. And it's been lousy for all three. So the first are the kids who actually can go to campus. Um, they're sitting in a classroom with a small group and they're only getting half an experience because the teacher has to teach to a camera and also to the kids around the room. And so, and sometimes repeat things, do things differently. Now the kids who are on camera, who are remote, um, they, they not only are also getting half, but even less because they're missing that in, in, in classroom sides. I don't mean no passing. I mean, just like the, the discussion that happens, that's where the magic of, of education. And the third group are the teachers and Lord help them. They have to focus between two different audiences and they're expected to do equally well for both. I, I gotta think that a lot have parents climbing all over them you know, if they don't feel like their kid is getting the same kind of education. Um, my, my hypothesis is that hybrid is a lot like multitasking. There's really no such thing as doing two things at the same time. It's just rapid, but inefficient switching between things. And so, you know, as we think about as an industry, what we're gonna do for hybrid, I think it's more than just leaning into technology. It's really acknowledging that, that you're trying to do things, you're trying to do two things. And, and figuring out how you're going to focus or how you're gonna split the difference and, and owning up to the fact that you can't be perfect for two audiences at the same time. 